What is up, all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host, Ghost here, and today we're going to be checking out the Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope, uh, the official gameplay overview trailer. They showed it at uh, E3 2022 uh, from their Nintendo Direct stream that they did, that Nintendo does. Uh, so we're going to hop right in, see what we can see, and then we're going to talk about it. So here we go. All right, Mario Rabbids. I, I really, really Mario enjoyed the uh, original Sparks one. Of Hope so let's see what they've added here. Galaxy, the result of the merge of Mario and okay. Rabbids universes. So last time they had a lot of Mario um, areas, but this looks but this very much like a, a very 50-50 mix Cursa, of both of them. A dark entity wants to absorb all its energy. Its influence very artistic environment, so very good looking. And is made visible by darkness. All right, darkness. Yep, they gotta stop the darkness. Cursa has also sent its minions to Rabbit capture minions, the sparks, Goombas. Okay. Born from the merge of Lumas and Rabbids. Those look like rabid shy guys. Sparks are That's kind of awesome. Defenseless against Cursa. But Mario and his friends will come to their rescue and save the galaxy from this okay. terrible threat. Is there any new characters though? That's what I want to know. All right, so it just uh, stole the uh, spark of hope there. Yeah, because I think, wasn't it last time they said that Bowser may be joining the battle? That'd be cool. And that'd be cool to see Yoshi as well. I believe Yoshi was in the original though, wasn't he? Or it could be mistaken. Delve into many worlds and environments in your quest to defeat Cursa. Princess uh, Rabbit Rosalina, she's new. And have the freedom to explore those worlds. So a little bit of a paper, mel uh, paper Mario element here, where you're exploring and doing different interactable things in the world that you're uh, walking around in. That's cool. I like that a lot. Bingo, 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 baby. NPCs. Journey, Mario and his friends will meet a cast of unforgettable characters. They all look like rabbits, though. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I wish there was actual like Mario characters to meet. Some of them will give you missions to complete. Cause the last game felt more Mario, this Those feels more rabbits. The opportunity to explore worlds lush and brimming with content, full of challenges to overcome and mysteries right. to uncover. So far though, I'm I'm gonna get it either way. It looks really fun. Puzzle solving, yep. New allies will join Mario and yeah, his who's friends this chick? in their quest. This is like, the, oh yeah, that's that cloud rabbit with the sword. Some are eager to join the fight. The anime inspired. Some Rosalina. Not so much. <laughs> he uses her little stuffed animal. That's what Even I'm looking Bowser forward to right there. An effort to reclaim his Look at that freaking gun he's got. Oh my god. That's awesome. I'm so glad Bowser's here. But Cursa's unexpected minions will stand Oh my in god, way. a pig rabbit with a thwomp on his back. To save the sparks, heroes will have to be brave, and they will have to fight. Nice. Okay, I'm still down. Yeah, very good. Make your I want to see a little bit of gameplay here, though. Where's the gameplay? Lead a team here it is. Heroes you select, control directly, and move in real so time yeah, very different than the original game, because you are able to move in real time without taking turns. Use so that's cool. I like that. To navigate the battlefield, flank your foes. And they still got the uh, warp pipes them. here, the rabid-looking warp pipes. A lot of different stuff to do, though. Adapt and use all the tools at your disposal, including your enemies. Okay. Makes sense. I like Each that. Each hero is equipped with a specific weapon. The bosses don't From look as original as the uh, first game, but those may not even be real bosses. They may be mini bosses. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. They all offer complimentary play styles. But it looks so freaking good. It looks so fun. Once the heroes finish their turn, it's time for the enemies to step up. It's still Make got sure that XCOM feel, but like with like they said with that action element, it feels so much more um, variety, heroes. so much more. Um, you're not locked into Each a certain play style. You can do anything you really want to in this game. Shield your allies in battle. Depending on the character Prepare and what they have to contribute to the team, of course. Or put your enemies to sleep. 
Techniques will always prove useful if used in the right Okay, context. I like it. Everyone's got their own little special ability here. Each battle won will grant experience. Okay, level up system. Team, and the heroes will level up, allowing them to grow. Do you get to choose powerful. it? Is it like a branch path or is it just automatic? In an intense battle, Mario and his friends can count on the help of the sparks. Each hero can harness their okay. powers in battle. Oh, Luigi's got a bow and arrow. That's Sparks awesome. Open Look at that thing. World of tactical possibilities. Clever use of their abilities can truly make the difference between defeat and victory. So there's a spark. It looks like a, a spark for every element, I'm assuming. Team Water, fire, gaining the upper hand. ice, Use all the tools at your disposal light, to darkness, all that other stuff. And win difficult battles. Okay, cool. I like it. I'm very intrigued this though. It looks awesome. This is a glimpse of the journey that awaits Mario and his friends. Pink, whatever that means, okay. The end of a quest okay. is always the beginning. Whatever of a element new that is. Meet enchanting cheap, cheap and enduring rabbit. That's characters. Awesome. Face powerful enemies during epic encounters. Not as cool as the original bosses though. I'm not going to lie. Like Rabbit Donkey Find Kong, that was awesome. And save them from Cursa. Embark on this great adventure. For Who's everyone that? to enjoy. Evil Princess Peach Rabbit? Huh. Very strange, though. Very intrigued. Still looks very good. Awesome. 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 Coming October 20th, guys. Go ahead and pre-order now if you're very interested. Um, and that was the trailer. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So that was Mario Rabbids Sparks of Hope, the sequel to the Mario Rabbids crossover game that came to the Nintendo Switch uh, a couple of years ago. I think it looks really fun. It looks like a major improvement over what they did with the first game. Um, and I think I, and the, adding the new characters and the new worlds and everything else, it seems like it's going to be a really fun adventure to go on. Uh, the one complaint I have, and I, it's only it's a nitpick complaint, so don't don't you know drag me in the streets over this, but. Uh, um, I feel like this one's more taking the approach of the Rabbids universe and less the Mario universe, uh, whereas the first game was very much set in the Mario universe and you were in those characters and you were in that world. Um, and, the, and the Rabbids crossed over with the Mario characters more there than they do seem to be here. Um, but this looks more like it's in the Rabbids universe. They're having more fun with the Ubisoft side of things. Um, and so, yeah, that's fine. That's fine uh, because we did get that first dose of Mario-ness in the first game. Uh, so yeah, it's still definitely looking forward to it. I still think it looks great for what it is. Um, I just had, a, I wish it had a little bit more of that Mario feel and element to it that we're missing here. Uh, but let me know down below what you guys think of Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Are you excited to play this or not? Let me know down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, or share. And as always, guys, keep it right here on Dorkston. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.